Tom Clark's 30-Minute Fun Show is a Boink Studios production. Follow us on Twitter at Boink Studios. And check out our Facebook page where you can see all of our projects, past, present, and future. And now, on with the show. What is up? This is Tom Clark's 30 Minute Fun Show. I'm Tom. This is the boy. Say hello, boy. Hey. <laughs> That's it? Yes. Hey. <laughs> Not much energy there. Hey, so what's up? Welcome to the show. Uh, this is our jam. This is what we do. It's really cold outside. And we're back at it again at AMF. Colonial Lanes here in the lovely city of Hickory, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Bowling. And we're early because they're not open yet. And they open at 3 o'clock. Yes, yeah, so. It's 2.55. Yes, yeah, so we're killing some time before we go in. Um, today, don't know when you're listening to this, but today actually is December 9th. Yes. Yes. And eight more days until we get out of school for Christmas break. Uh huh. And it's officially... 15 more days until Christmas. Well, 14. 15. You're right. 15 days till Christmas. So, yours truly went and did some shopping today. We won't tell anybody what I got, because we don't want anybody hearing it. Well, we did. Yeah, don't talk. Don't talk. You've been in school. Yep. How can you go shopping if you're in school? Well... So... Judging by the sound of my voice, you can probably tell out there that uh, I've got a touch of a cold. Um, the boy has a little bit of a cold as well, and it's going around. It's um, it's quite cold here all of a sudden. The temps are supposed to go back up next week, but it's supposed to rain like every day, which is really weird. And I got a light gr- a really light light green color color light green crayon. Color. Oh, where'd that come from? I don't know. I had it in my pocket. It was my <laughs> You just had a crown in your pocket for no reason? Yes. Did you take that out of school? No, it's mine. Oh, okay. All right. It's mine from my pencil box. Oh, I see. And you broke it? Yes. That's yeah, good thinking. Break stuff. Um, Wesley is the destroyer. That's my nickname for him because he just wrecks everything. I do. Yeah, he doesn't mean to. Well, maybe he does. Sometimes I mean to, sometimes I don't. Well, uh, it gets, yeah. it's a better idea to just take care of your stuff. Yeah. Rather than just wreck it. And rather than to break a Blu-ray player. Yeah, I'm not even sure how you did that one. Me either. That's why I didn't, uh, you know, put you through a table or anything. Because I'm not quite sure how you did it. Yeah. But anyway, the DVD was jammed and I had to pry it open. Which was retarded because, honestly, I could have just took the unit apart. And took uh, and managed to just pop the, uh, one more the tray out. Get to go inside. It's actually two. Um, but yeah. Uh, so the last time we came to you guys, we had not seen the lights. Am I right? Nope. We went to see some Christmas lights recently in Charlotte, the Queen City. It was sick because I could, I got to stick my head out the window and look. Yeah, we went to the Charlotte Motor Speedway and they got a big screen there. So they were playing Elf. Yes. On an endless loop. Uh, and I love that Christmas movie. We've already watched it at home how many times yeah, now? About like. Three or four? Yeah. So, uh, that was pretty cool. The lights were awesome. Uh-huh. Um, I've grown to appreciate lights as I've gotten older. When I was a kid, I didn't really care about them too much for some weird reason. <laughs> but I care about them now. I guess because I just he like... didn't like Christmas until I came. That's right. I, we had a conversation last night. And I told you that uh, I uh, I didn't... Uh, wasn't a fan of Christmas until you came along. Not really. One more minute. But now I am. Someone's counting down. Can you tell? Uh, I should just. And Daddy, guess what? what? You know how many more days until the play is? Five. Five days to the play. Yes. You don't have a part, do you? No. Why? Right. We're walk. I think we're gonna work on the parts tomorrow. But did you get a part? Not yet. Then you don't get a part. The Are you sure that you auditioned for something? I mean, have you? 
I don't no, know we already happened. got a bubblegum bark person. But aren't there any other speaking parts? I don't think so. Wow. Okay. Then who's bubblegum bark going to be? John. I don't know who, what his last name is, though. Well, you don't have to know. Do you know him? No. Oh, whose class is he's he? He's in now? third grade. Oh. Well, you know, we were just hoping that your Hollywood career would go ahead and take off now. <laughs> you know, we can get you some headshots and hire you an agent. They're open. Yeah, but the, the, are the doors unlocked? Uh, no. So we'd be trying to bust in, which is B&E, and that'll get you like arrested. two to six, maybe more. <laughs> yes. Um, we haven't been bowling in a while. I don't know how we're going to do, if I'm honest with you. Yeah. Um, hopefully we do okay. Seemed like the last time we came, we got into a real rhythm. Out of the blue, I had like a great game. Am I miss? Am I not remembering this right? No. I don't remember. That's weird. We did not have a good game last time. I don't know. I think you're wrong. I think I dominated. And I put you to shame. Pardon the yawn. It's very unprofessional. <laughs> so things have been jumping here lately on the professional front. I uh, got the chance to talk to Randy Orton. And if you guys do uh, not listen to our sister podcast, Tom Clark's Main Event, please go check it out. Interview number 66 has posted, and that's my interview with Randy Orton, the Viper from WWE. And they also, and they also talked about Shooter a little bit. Yes. And then, and then they just talked about wrestling. He rest. did. It was awesome. You know what? Everyone the next day said, dude, were you nervous? Were you nervous? I'm like, I was in the beginning, I guess, a little... Uh, I can't say I was tongue-tied. I, I think the interview went pretty well, but... I would be nervous. I wasn't really nervous, because at the end of the day, he's just like everyone else. He earns a living uh, doing something different than most people do. Yeah. But, you know, these guys are just regular people, men and women. They're just trying to do good for themselves and feed their families and earn a paycheck and trying to take care of themselves like we all are. So, anyway, go check it out. I had a lot of fun. Hope you like it, because it was cool. So at least it's a beautiful day here. There's no clouds anywhere that I see. It's been raining a lot lately. Yeah. And it hasn't been like a cold rain, which I've been thankful for that. There's nothing worse than a cold rain. Yeah. I can't stand a cold rain. But, uh, yeah. And hopefully the doors will open up here. Whenever we go in, uh, of course, we won't record during the bowling but uh, as soon as we're done, we'll come back and we'll finish up the show. That's the an, an advantage. You'll successfully time travel again. Yes, you would have successfully time traveled again. Very good. That's the benefits of a thirty-minute show: is that we can record them pretty quickly, and I can mix them pretty quickly, and you know, add the bumpers and the music, and then you know, throw it on Libsyn.com and Bob's your uncle. We're posted on iTunes. Boom. And, of course, when you subscribe to our shows from Boink Studios, they automatically download it to the listening device of your choosing. We're also doing a giveaway. We are? Yes. When did this happen? Whenever we get, like, two Xboxes, like, three one, like, four Xboxes, then we might give the 360 away. Wow. You've lost your mind. Yes. Um, I, I thought you meant we were just going to actually give something away. We got this Great Clips balloon next to me. We could give that away. Yeah. Okay. So the first listener to correctly guess the answer to this trivia question gets the Great Clips balloon. Yeah. Now, we got to come up with a trivia question. <laughs> um, what do you got? What do you got? Let's see what kind of trivia question. What do you call a four-humped camel? A four-humped camel. What do you, what is what do you call a four hunt camel? I don't know. <laughs> you don't have a there's no punchline? I thought you had a real joke. Hey, alright, there there it is. What do you call a four hunt camel? The first a four person four legged camel. A four legged hamel? Camel. No, I like your first one, the four hunt camel. Whoever can tell me correctly what you call a four hunt camel, you will successfully win this great clip. Yes. Great clips balloon it will arrive to your doorstep deflated you'll have to add the air mm -hmm. um if you want us to add the air there is a charge for that yes and um you'll have to charge us a hundred two two thousand dollars two thousand dollars to add air mm -hmm. what is this space balls or something the air is like precious commodity <sighs> you don't know what that joke means please don't kick my chair with your knee thank you or that one either in it. um i haven't seen anyone lock the doors have you 
Wouldn't it be funny if like the guy was on the other side staring a hole through us and we can't see him, but yet we're staring at him. And like he's getting all mad and stuff because we're looking at him. He's looking at us. We don't even know where he's looking at us. <laughs> it's 3.04. We'll give him a few more minutes and see what happens. There's some great sound effects for you guys. Hope you enjoy that. Big bunch of nonsense. So I put on my, my winter coat that I bought at the Old Navy for the first time today. Well, exactly. And that, this one didn't buy it? Yeah, I did. Maybe. That sucker is like an oven. So it's going to keep Daddy warm. You best believe that. It's like an oven, man. I saw a leg go by. You saw a who go by? A leg. Just a leg? Oh my God, is it an apparition? A spirit? A ghost? Wow. There's a dude in denim shorts. Now you folks need to understand It's the something. same person, except he just got a haircut. It is not the same person with a haircut. He, okay, he, did you hear that ding? I just checked the temp. It's 42 degrees, and this dude has on denim, denim shorts. Shirt. First off, there's no situation in which denim shorts um, are the right thing to do. Nope. They're not acceptable. Want to know why? Because they went out of style back in 1992. Okay, um, and also this is the South, so no one down South is in style. There's still mullets walking around in this state. I'm gonna tell you right now, in this town, actually, you can go to any number of you know restaurants here in Hickory and count the number of mullets, mullets and denim shorts and a wallet on a chain and a pocket knife on the belt and a gigantic cell phone and camouflage as far as the eye can see, or can't see as the case Daddy, may be. It's open. He got in. Denim shorts got in, folks. That's our cue. Uh, just hang tight. We'll be back soon. Prepare to time travel. Yes. And we're back. Just like that, you hear a gunshot. <laughs> no, they didn't hear that. It's a toy gun, anyway, and it doesn't even work. So, um, we just bowled, and somebody on his first game bowled a 90. 90, yeah. Who was it? The you, boy. the boy, did it with no bumpers. Yeah. Dude, you have officially. I whooped his butt in the first game, but then he whooped my he whooped my butt with a 101 on the on the second game. That's right, man. You are officially graduated to manhood when it comes to bowling, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah, you were just easy and carefree and did great. And I only did one strike though. Yeah, but dude, it was yeah, yeah. you did good though come a long way since we first started bowling that's for sure so um the bowling went well we had fun um now, it was too expensive by the way it was 27 stinking dollars god almighty i don't know where bowling is where you guys are in the world but dude 27 dollars for two games is a bit much in my opinion i could probably buy a bowling ball for 27 dollars i don't know <laughs> and we are going to waffle house down in conover Yes, we are. Get peanut butter pancakes. Peanut butter pancakes, which is really just peanut, just a great big pancake with a whole bunch of peanut butter chips on top of it. No. Mm -hmm. But they melt really nice, yeah. don't they? Yeah, and then there's sugar that you put on it. Powdered sugar. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna, this stuff's gonna kill us dead, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's good. Though. It's good, but yeah, it's gonna be the death of us. So yeah, we're gonna go to Waffle House and get some dinner, I think, and then we're gonna go to the store and we're gonna get some stuff to make Christmas, Christmas cookies. cookies. And then we're gonna go home, make them, eat them. And pass out. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So. Cause we, I don't have a lazy, well all three of us don't have a lazy day tomorrow. Cause I have to go to my babysitter's. <laughs> my mom and dad dad has to go to work. Mm-hmm. So, that's the life of a working class family, and man. And Sunday, we don't have to do nothing. I like Sundays uh, where I don't have to do anything. Yeah. That makes me happy, actually. Makes me and smile. Miss Wilson, our teacher, is not going to be there on Monday. Why? Because she, I think, she, she has to stay with her daddy. Mm hmm Because, like, I don't want to say different, though. Yeah. But he's one of those. And then she had a bad dream about him. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he, she, like, texted her mom. And then um, her mom was texting back, like, um, that um, her daddy was okay. But then Monday, one of, I think, yeah, it's one of her friends. Her, one of her friends are coming for a substitute. And then she'll be back on Tuesday. 
You got a good teacher. I like your teacher. Yeah. She also made us, she also let us do Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. If you don't know what that is, jelly beans, pretzel sticks, um, bread with butter, toast with butter, and popcorn. Popcorn. Did we talk about that on the last episode? I don't think so. Well, maybe we didn't. Yeah, I it love that so one. Good. We had the Starburst kind of jelly beans. They were good. Best kind. Mm -hmm. There's Jelly Belly, of course. And there's Sesame Bean Boozled. Yeah, there is. Um, yeah, I love the Charlie Brown <laughs> stuff, man. It's not Christmas until I hear the Charlie Brown music. I mean, that's just, to me, that just takes me back to my childhood right there. Yeah. So, well, you're in your childhood right yeah. now. Well, I'm in my childhood. Yep. But I'm about to not be. Yeah, well, you're eight. You got a long time to go, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. I only have, well, well, this year, next year, I'm going to be nine. So, I have two years until I'm ten. Well, that's true. But let's let's stop trying to grow you up so darn <laughs> quick there. Trying to shrink you back down. I found a Facebook memory today on Facebook. The one of you in the bathtub making me a milkshake with the water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it popped back up today under memories. So I had to repost it. He was talking about giving me a cherry on top of the milkshake. And it was that little rubber frog. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> that's just too funny. I miss when you were real little. Yeah. Before you grew up to be all big and evil. I'm kidding. You're not evil. You're a little evil. Not not too much. I'm a little evil. We're all a little evil. Just you got it worse than anybody. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. You're my boy. You're my son. I love you to death. Even though I do want to put you through a table most of the time. Look, there's nobody at the driving range today, man. No, it's too darn cold. Yeah, there is. Is someone out there? Yes. Looks like he's picking up balls. I think he works there. Yeah. And we're Remember currently passing Hickory Motor Speedway. Which we saw monster trucks there. And then um, we saw this one car jump, I think, on top of to this trailer. Yeah. And then on, into the boat. Into yeah, the boat. it was on top and then into the boat. Yep. Yeah. And they made out like the boat stalled on the track, but we knew what was happening. Yeah. They set it up so the truck could just demolish it. No. Yes, we've been known to attend some redneck festivities. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. Not something I brag about, but we went to one. We only went to one, and when we went to it. It was really killer hot that day. Yeah. It was very hot, and it, it was, was very really crowded. Fun. It was all right. I mean, you and got you more of a... See, um, I think... Gunstringer? Gunslinger? Yeah, Gunslinger. I don't know. Something like that. Gunstringer is a video game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a game on the 360. Mm -hmm. But it's Connect. <laughs> and now it's in our bedroom, which it's we true. don't. And we can't play Connect anymore, though. Because it doesn't have that much room. Nah, not in the frame at all. But, yeah, yeah, it was okay. Like, there's not much redneck stuff I get into. I'm not into racing. I don't care for racing. I don't like NASCAR. I've never been into that stuff, to be honest with you. Never my cup of tea. Like, I grew up in the South and still live here, but, like, a lot of the things that are big, I'm not really into that much. Like, you know, camouflage, NASCAR, Walmart, racism, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm not really into that I'm stuff. I'm into camouflage. Well, God help us all. I'm trying to break you of that, but it's not working. And so. also, when we... When we got to go on the motor speedway on um, like thing where they go in like a big circle. We got to go like up on the hill that like really is a steep hill. Mm -hmm. It was kind of fun though. Oh, you're talking about when we see the lights? Yeah. Yeah, we got to go down the racetrack, mm -hmm. Charlotte Motor Speedway, and it goes like straight up in the air, it feels yeah. like. Crazy. Just imagine driving right, right up onto it. What if, just imagine, just imagine, you on a Lamborghini, like a sick looking car, mm -hmm. and you had to drive off a skyscraper, and you had to try to land on the um, wheels, that would be so hard and so scary, 
because if you got, if you did it, at, if I did it on Lamborghini, I would be so mad at myself. Because I love Lamborghinis and Camaros. You're obsessed with Lamborghinis. Why is that? I don't know. Because they just look sick. I'm getting a white and red Lamborghini when I grow up. Somehow the other night you managed to get a hold of her phone and you sent me a text that said, I'm going to buy a Lamborghini. When I get older. Or something like that. I'm like, what? I'm going to be in a Lamborghini when I get older. Hey, look, there's an abandoned field. It's available. Yeah. It's available. We could set up. We could set up our own business. And for clowns. If let's start our own business, what kind of product would we sell? Clown stuff. Clown stuff. What well, seems Machetes. to be a... Oh, God, no. Shotguns. <laughs> Shotguns. Boy, things have changed since Any I was a kid. Guns. Clowns. That, clowns, when I was a kid, used to be just big feet, and they used to be happy and funny and nice and friendly. Well, now and... clowns these days like to murder people sometimes. Dude, don't talk like just that. Just saying. Someone has too much YouTube in their life. We're yes. trying to break him from it. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have it right now, do you? You don't have it right now, do you, smart mouth? Nope. Oh, snap. Someone tried to take the tablet and stick it in the bed last night, didn't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he knows he shouldn't do that, doesn't that's he? That's right. And the reason why, because I wanted to watch clowns. Doesn't he know he shouldn't do that? And in the dark, so... No one's listening oh, to me. Scared. You know what I'm saying. You gotta knock that stuff off. Yeah, but so, we're about to turn into Waffle House. Turn into a Waffle House? Oh, you mean turn into Waffle. Got it. There's only like three people here. This place is usually jumping, man. Jumping, yeah. We've been here for breakfast before and had to wait for a table. Yeah. Look, that dude had a flat tire. Oh. I feel bad for him, man. I've been there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, he had two. He did have two, didn't he? He had three, actually. He didn't have three flat tires. <laughs> no one has three flat tires. That's someone that ran from the cops that had three flat tires. So let's put the vehicle in park. Let's see where we are now, folks. Now, listen. Um, this is actually going to be a three-parter, even though it's not really a three-parter, because we're just pausing the recording twice, and then coming back, and you will never know we've been gone, and we'll finish the rest. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hold tight, folks. And we're back once again. So we just got a little reinvigorated with some delicious Waffle House. Uh, it was quite good. I had some grits that were amazing, out of this world good. Like, yeah. holy God, I didn't have any idea how good the grits can be at the Waffle House. So, consider this Tom Clark's 30 Minute <laughs> Fun Show's official endorsement of the grits just at Waffle House. Go out to your local Waffle House and consume the grits. They're quite tasty. What did you have? I had peanut butter waffle yes. and it was good <laughs> it was crazy good I had steak and eggs I had a good old fashioned 1950's breakfast <laughs> with two and a half cups of coffee now we are about to go get the cookie stuff for Christmas mm -hmm. Christmas cookies tis the season and also gonna get icing icing? no no. no who said icing? daddy can we get marshmallows? marshmallows for what? To decorate the cookie. Decorate the cookie? No. Yes, we're gonna no. We're gonna get no. We're gonna get sprinkles. And we're gonna get chocolate chip and peanut butter chips. Sound good? I want marshmallows. Um no. Yes. So uh still a beautiful day. The evening is beginning to wind down. It's it's late, late afternoon, early evening now. We have full bellies. And we're going to go buy cookies that are highly unnecessary for us. But, as we said, tis the season to make merry. And that's what we plan to do is make merry. Who's merry? <laughs> like Merry Christmas. Wouldn't it be cool if your last name was Christmas and your first name was Mary? Mm -hmm. Never thought about that before. That's what Jim Carrey's name was in Dumb and Dumber. Lloyd Christmas. Yeah, Lloyd Christmas. Lloyd Christmas. We might watch Dumber and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Yeah, we, we watched that one night. You really liked it. I want to watch it again tonight. You'll say that. When we get home, you'll change your mind. I, I want to see it. 
need to watch Fred Claus again. By the way, let's go ahead and run down the list of Christmas movies that we endorse for the good people to watch. Number one, I'll give them one, you give them one. My first recommendation for Christmas movie is Fred Claus. Fred Claus, starring Vince Vaughn, Paul Giamatti. Uh, excellent Christmas movie. Not a bad part in that movie at all. If you've got kids, you can totally let them watch it. There's nothing inappropriate or bad language or anything weird happening. It's an excellent film, and it's a great Christmas movie. And we love Fred Claus. It's really funny. So that's my choice. What's your choice? Elf. Elf. Excellent choice. Starring who? I forgot. I forgot, and I forgot. <laughs> well, you're close. Will Ferrell. Oh, yeah. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell is Elf. Another great choice. And again, another movie, if you do have kids, um, or if you just don't care to watch movies with a lot of questionable content in it, then Elf is the movie for you. Uh, it's, it's a great movie. And just like any good Christmas movie, it, it uh, really brings up the spirit of Christmas and all that other stuff. And we highly recommend Elf. My third recommendation, I would have to recommend Charlie Brown Christmas. It's a classic. Um, if you don't watch Charlie Brown Christmas at Christmas time, I highly question your um, intelligence, and I highly question your thought process because it's a special that has to be watched. It's part of Christmas. It's part of my childhood, as I said before, and it's what makes the Yuletide gay, as it were, and makes the season grand. So there's my next pick. What's your next pick for Christmas? Uh, you got to have something. can't think of anymore. <laughs> I can't think of anything? Nothing else for Christmas? What else do we watch this Christmas? I don't we were just talking about it today. You talked about it at the bowling alley. Ernest Saves Christmas. Oh, yeah. Ernest Saves Christmas. Yes. I not talk about this at the bowling alley. Because you said ho, 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 Vern. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ernest Saves Christmas. Um, it's awesome. It's, an, it, it's so funny. It's goofball. It's corny. It's ridiculous. But we love it. Um, it's really good. And we watch it quite a bit during the Yuletide season. And it's good stuff. Um, again, a completely harmless Christmas film. Um, Ernest, uh, several different characters. And uh, uh, just just an all-around great movie. So, yeah, you should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. My turn, I suppose. Um, let's see. What kind of Christmas movie do I want to talk about? Uh, blah, 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 blah. How about Scrooged? Scrooge. Yes, this is Bill Murray's take on the classic Christmas Carol. You guys, I know, remember this film from the 90s. Uh, maybe 80s? 80s or 90s? One of the two. Where uh, And wow, this car in front of us did not need to stop, did she? Yep. Jeez. Uh, Bill Murray, of course, plays a uh, television executive who ends up getting visited by three spirits on Christmas. Sound familiar? It should, because it's, an, it's a, like a, a modern ad adaptation of... Of A Christmas Carol. It's a good movie, but I have to go ahead and warn you ahead of time if you haven't seen it that there's some, uh, it's not exactly for kids. There's a lot of stuff in there that would, um, not exactly for kids, some moments in that film. So just be advised. Not that you can't let them see it, but just be advised. There's some uh, stuff in it that you might want to, you know, be aware of, as it were. Have you got one? Um, let's see. <coughs> Here's a highly recommended one for adults. Wolverine. <laughs> Is Wolverine a Christmas film? And Deadpool. And Deadpool's a Christmas film? Ho, ho, ho. Merc with a mouth. Ho, 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 Deadpool. Well, that's interesting. I had no idea those are Christmas films. The Wolverine is good. The boy's not seen it. Too violent. Deadpool is amazing. Again, the boy's not seen it. It's much too violent. and Much too uh, graphic in nature, shall we say. Um, one of the headlines that just hit, actually, is that Ryan Reynolds wants Hugh Jackman to be in a Wolverine slash Deadpool movie when, supposedly, Jackman's last run as Wolverine is going to be in Old Man Logan, which is going to be an amazing flick. Can't wait to see Old Man Logan. Um, so, or I should say just Logan. It's just called Logan. My apologies. That, of course, is adapted from a book, uh, Old Man Logan. And uh, uh, an amazing Wolverine read. If you've never read Old Man Logan, brother, you're missing out. Go check it out as soon as possible. Daddy? Yes, son. Are we going to get toys and then get this stuff? At toys? No. Yes. 
Santa Claus don't want you looking at no toys because you might get some crazy ideas in your head about wanting to get something. No. Mm -hmm. Look at that toys. Uh, listen, folks, you'll have to excuse my constant coughing. <coughs> See? Yeah. Coughed. Yeah, I'm trying to hold the, the recorder away. This here. is how people cough with their gun. Well, that's just weird. And, uh, and you're going to have to let that stuff go. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's... Um, like we said when we first started this episode here, that we've both got a touch of the crud. One of us is on medication, one of us is not. You can probably guess which one of us is on medication. The boy! The boy is. Um, it's not that I'm above taking medicine. It's usually I just wait till my deathbed before I even go to the doctor. Um, is this a parking space I see before me? It yeah. is! Is it my birthday? <laughs> That's awesome. That never happens for us. Pardon the clicking sounds, folks. And break, and we're stopped. And now, we're <coughs> part three. And no. We have to go one more. No, this is part three. Boy, you gotta learn how to tell time. I just said this is part three. You gotta learn how to tell time, because you have no idea what you're talking well, about. I'm gonna look at toys and then get the cookie dough stuff. Well, I got news for you, folks. You have heard the last of the episode. That's right, we're at the end of the show. Can you believe that? Yes. Episode 12 is in the can, brothers. Um, so... Cart bars at episode 12 of their life. What? Yeah, that's true. Dim cart boys. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you had fun. It's just a day in the life for yours truly and his trusty sidekick. So, thanks for listening. Please go check out my stuff on Bleach Report, on Sports Keto, on Camel Clutch Blog. Don't forget to check out Tommy Kyle's Comedy Action Hour. <coughs> and... Yes. Check us out on Facebook, Boing Studios. That's our webpage. Go give us a hit. Read our stuff. Listen to the shows. Read the columns. Come back again real soon. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for listening. Be back at you next time. Holler if you hear me. That's it for episode 12. Hit them, boy!